guys, it's Beverly. I'm here to show you some finished objects and some whips and what I want to make. <laughs> okay, the first one is a finished object. It is the first quarter spring, a first quarter Mary Maxim Af crochet Afghan club. And it was the spring thaw blanket. And it came with the Mary Maxim yarn, uh, the maximum value Mary Maxim yarn. And I finished the blanket. I was going to measure it, but I forgot. And it's supposed to be 41 by 54. So it probably is. That's probably about right. And it was three colors. It was, they called the navy um, denim. Then we had denim ombre. And then white, of course. And they just alternated it in different pattern sequences as you can see and it's just so soft and cuddly you guys I ordered some more of this um, Mar maximum value Mary Maxim and I'm going to use it to make baby, bl baby blankets oh gosh it's so cuddly okay so that's the first finished object then I had a half finished object <laughs> This is the um, poncho style top that I'm making, and Ella is making it too. Ellie from Ella from No Catchy Name, and it's made with. I guess I should have moved everything over here. The Flex Charms Loops and Thread Flex, and this color is the Deep Pink Coral. And I had two skeins of this, and I used one complete one for this side. And so then I have um, another skein. I started to do the second side. And as you can see, it's uh, Ella said that she made it 10 inches, and then you do the um, other pattern or other stitches to um, make it go under the arm and it's a v-neck top and I'm not one for really you know deep v-necks but I'm looking forward to this and as I'm talking here to you I'm thinking I better check and see maybe I need a third skein but anyway it came out beautiful I'm gonna pause the video and bring my stuff closer Okay, I brought it closer. So this is a picture of the top. And I noticed that she, if you go to their website, it doesn't say Saratoga anymore. It just says Poncho style uh, top. <clears throat> so what I will do is I will link it below. And it's just really easy. Um, here's what I have left of that first scheme. And it was a 10.58 ounce skein, 590 yards, 300 grams of a polyester, 21 polyester, 79 acrylic. It's very soft and squishy. So I'll link this below if you guys are want, wanting to make a summer top with it. And um, I'm not sure, since this was a four-ply yarn and I used a G-hook, whether I'll have to wear a top underneath it. I'll ask one of my friends to check me out and see what they think. But I'm really looking forward to having this finished. The next thing I'm working on, I'm working on... I replaced my baby blanket for my shop, and I did, or I'm in the process of doing a tutorial. Um, I did, in my newbie crochet series, I did the granny square, and then the next lesson is going to be, or tutorial, 
or workshop, whatever you want to call it, is the straight granny. And the pattern, the pattern that I like to use for my straight granny is uh, from Your Inspirations, Easy Peasy Crochet Baby Blanket. And it uses the granny stitch. And um, I featured this in that tutorial. I, I started the blank this blanket in the tutorial and the next step will be when I get it 34 by 34 will be in the video um, the border okay and this is a real quick easy baby blanket pattern and I just love it okay so that's what I'm working on then I I think I got an email from Yarn Inspirations, and in that pattern, in that email, it featured this crochet festival cardigan, and they, they featured the halter top, but I'm not making that, and I, I don't think I'm going to do the fringe on the bottom here, but I just love the design in this little cardi. So I'm going to make that this and it only it goes up to a 5x extra small to 5x is the pattern so you know anybody can make it any size and it uses a G hook and I decided for once <laughs> to buy the actual yarn that they recommend so I, I bought this yarn the Burn Burnett Softy Cotton. And it's 4.2 ounces. And it is the colorway Feather Gray. It's a number three. And the pattern recommends that you use a G hook. And the yarn represents recommends that you use a four millimeter so four millimeter I think C D E F is probably an F but this one's a G it says for up to an extra large you need four skeins so I got four skeins of this and it's it's soft you know it's not scratchy and there is a pattern on the top, on the front of this, look at this, for a tank top. That might be a good thing to make. It's a tank top. It's really cute. Um, so I'm going to make this. And let's see, did I get everything in the video that I want? Oh, I wanted to show you my bag. And it happens. <laughs> and you guys... I want you, anybody out there that's going to be going on that crochet crowd cruise in February, there's two cruises in February, please let me know so that I can set with you. I'm going on the second one, which is the finale cruise, and then they're going to be doing different trips after that. But February 26th is the departure date on Celebrity the Apex. And I figured in February 2022 that, you know, it'll be safe to go on a cruise. But it would be so cool to meet you guys. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Please let me know if you're going on the cruise. That would be so much, just think, it would be so much fun. It's a seven-day cruise. And they have five to seven workshops on the on the cruise and then um, you get some yarn to take home it's included in the price but they do the the workshops and they teach you new techniques and that'll be fun and Mikey everybody's heard of Mikey from the crochet crowd you'll get to meet him so anyway love you guys thanks so much for subscribing if you're not a subscriber think about it Give me thumbs up. Give me tips on what you want me to do next. It's your channel. Love you guys. 